And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. You're listening to the Go Fish Podcast for Kids. I got the joy. Jamie. I'm Chad. And I'm DJ Chase. And we're the Go Go Fish Fish Guys. Guys. And this is an all new Go Fish podcast for kids. Christmas happens to be one of my favorite times of the year, and I am so excited to join you as we get ready to celebrate. We have lots of fun in store, and I'm especially excited to introduce you to a new friend of mine who should be joining us in a minute. Until then, let's listen to a Christmas tune by, well, us. Here we go. The kids can't tell Decorations are up all over the town And the carolers are making a sweet sound And everywhere I look People smiling at me Everything I see is covered up in lights Every flake of snow Falling down so perfectly It only happens at Christmas time Everybody say There's presents in there Everywhere I look People smiling at me Everything I see Is covered up in lights Every flake of snow Falling down so perfectly It only happens at Christmas time for checking out the podcast today. This is the second episode of a four-part series that goes along with our Christmas curriculum called The Gift of Advent. If you'd like more information about our curriculum, visit gofishkidsmusic.com. Also, while you're there, you can download a free coloring sheet for each episode. Just click on the podcast link at the top of the site and then click on this week's episode. Again, that's all available at gofishkidsmusic.com. All right, as promised, we have a special guest today. Here with the check of the weather is our new friend, Frank. Frank is a weatherman. He is a weatherman. Frank is a weatherman who never went to school. Say what? Frank is a weatherman. He is a weatherman. Frank is a weatherman who never went to school. Frank, this is Chad from GoFish. It's great to have you today. So I hear you're a weatherman who never went to school? 
Yeah, this is Frank, the weatherman, reporting live chat from Goldfish. Great to be on the podcast today. I'm a huge, huge fan, Chad, from Goldfish. And yeah, I never went to school. I didn't need it. I got bored. I didn't like it. What's there to really learn? I know what I need to know, Chad. But I, what I know right now is I'm freaking out because there's ice falling from the sky, Chad, from Go Fish. There's ice falling from the sky. This just in. I guess I'm confused, Frank. It's just snow. <laughs> You're confused, Chad? How do you think I feel? I'm out here and there's ice falling from the sky, man. I am freaking out. Frank, it's like this. Snowflakes form when an extremely cold water droplet freezes around a speck of dust, creating a tiny ice crystal. As the ice crystal moves through the clouds, water vapor freezes to it, creating a snowflake that eventually becomes heavy enough to fall to the earth. (laughs) Oh, Chad. I don't even know the words that you're saying right now, Chad. That, <laughs> I suppose every snowflake is different too, right? <laughs> Whatever, Chad, from Go Fish. All I know is there's ice falling from the sky. Frank is a weatherman. He is a weatherman. Frank is a weatherman who never went to school. Wow. Frank is an interesting dude. He's a nice guy, but to be honest, I think he's lacking the gift of wisdom, which by the way, is exactly what we're talking about today. When someone has the gift of wisdom, it means that someone has the gift of being wise. Since we're getting ready to celebrate Christmas, I'll tell you who definitely had the gift of wisdom in the Christmas story, the wise men. We can read about them in the Bible, Matthew 2, verses 1 and 2. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Here are some interesting facts about the wise men. First of all, they weren't actually kings themselves. However, they were known as the king makers because one of their main jobs was to acknowledge or recognize royalty. When the wise men recognized someone as king, the people followed. Another fun fact is that they were experts at studying the stars. When they saw the special star that God placed in the sky when Jesus was born, they spotted it right away and knew that it meant a king had been born. They were so sure of it that they traveled about 1,500 miles for a chance to worship Jesus, the King of Kings. Do you know how you can have wisdom just like the wise men? As usual, the answer is right here in the Bible, James 1.5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. On our own, it's hard to be truly wise, but when we ask God for help, he can do anything. Be three kings of Oriental. Star I see tonight in my life.
life, feel the guiding light. Jesus, you're the star tonight. Thanks again for listening to the podcast today about the gift of wisdom. I hope you'll join us again next time when we talk about another gift that comes straight from God. Christmas is getting closer. Are you getting excited? Because I sure am. See you next time. For great music for kids that won't drive parents bonkers, look up Go Fish on your favorite streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and Pandora. To learn more, visit GoFishKidsMusic.com. 